deeply humbled by them. The American people are looking uh, for new leadership that could unite our country around our highest ideals. Uh, that, that would reflect the respect and civility the American people show to one another every day while still advancing uh, the policies that we advance. There are those in our party who believe that as the presiding officer over the joint session of Congress, that I possess unilateral authority to reject electoral college votes. And I heard this week that President Trump said I had the right to overturn the election. President Trump is wrong. I had no right to overturn the election. on Pence. Number one, he's a traitor because he should have stopped the election. He should have stopped the votes from going through. He legally had a right to do it. Just like Kemp had a, legally had a right to call a session for everybody to come in and look and see what was going on with the election. But they have no spines or they benefit from letting this deal happen. Today's Democratic Party is taken over by a radical left-wing group that literally has lost their grip on everything that's always made this country great. With the full support of Stacey Abrams, in a little more than a year, think about it, the Biden-Harris administration has unleashed a tidal wave of left-wing policies that has eroded our standing in the world and stifled the American economy. I thought he, he's a typical um, person from Indiana. He's calm, he's, he's um, dedicated, he's devoted, he's a Christian, which makes me happy. And uh, I think he did a good job as vice president. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.